education, they say, is and always will be the bedrock of any society. This is especially true in terms of looking at our future generation. And what better way to do this than a good educational investment in today's youths? This philosophy is not lost on Saplet Petroleum Development Company, PLC, operators of the NPDC Saplet Joint Venture Assets. The motivation behind why we're keen on this uh, program is number one, you know, as a company, we do have a very strong commitment to our corporate social responsibility, uh, which is around, okay, how do we really impact society? And for us, if you look at the uh, sustainable development goals, uh, there's one on quality, quality education, number four. And when I look at all the 17 SDGs, education for me is sits at the heart of all, whether you're talking about gender equality or end poverty or hunger or well-being, I think for us this is one key program of our CSR uh, portfolio of activities and, and CEPLAD is strongly, strongly behind contributing a little way through partnership to uh, academic excellence. Since inception in 2009, Saplet has, over the years, formulated a robust portfolio of corporate social programs aimed at targeting the community level. For us as Saplet, we will continue doing what we are doing, making sure that we impact life, running all the CSR programs, but this one specifically is for the students, making sure we continue all the programs that impact life, for those for the maternal health care, for those for the optical health care, we will continue running those programs. The premium place in education within the company's corporate social responsibility is quite high in extensive. The corporate social responsibility is what you know we take very seriously. And I think for seven years, the history speaks for itself that we're really, really committed to, uh, to CSR. And it's, so it's not just like a sprint, we think it's a marathon. We've been there for seven years and we're going to be, we're going to be in there for a very, very long time to come. In 2012, Saplet co-funded the Pearl Squeeze program with a joint venture partner, NPDC. The maiden edition of the quiz debuted in 2012 with 1,741 secondary schools within the target areas of Edo and Delta states participating. Over the seven years that the poll squeezes out, seven different schools have won the star prize of a 16-seater Toyota highest bus and then subsequently seven million naira as a star prize. And these winners have been Ofa Memorial Secondary School, Uromi, Edo State, 2012. Staff Model Secondary School, Agua Delta State, 2013. Hebrew International School, Okbele, Edo State, 2014. Reverend Martin's Mixed Secondary School, Iseloku, Delta State, 2015. University Preparatory Secondary School, Benin City, Edo State, 2016. Lumen Christi International High School, Uromi, Edo State, 2017. Various grants have been given to the schools to improve academic facilities and to foster excellence in the region.
The representing students have also been given various cash awards. Students have seen something to look forward to. There is a prize at the end of it. There's a scholarship that goes with it. There's a prize for the school. There are projects we undertake in the schools that win. So they have seen it as a team of joy and a team of pride to be a part of the program and ensure that the school wins. And so after a series of pre-qualifying tests and contests, the finalists were prepared for the grand finale of the 2018 edition of the Supplet Pearl Squeeze. Getting to this stage was a bit stressful since we were new to the Sepla competition and we didn't know how it has always been in the previous years. But at, as we got further to the competition, we found out that it was based on what we already knew, what we had been taught. So we found it a little more easier than how we started at the beginning. Academically, the Sepla Pearl Squeeze has drilled me a lot, giving me continuous exercise um, making my heart beat really fast when the person is calling a question and then you, answer, you have to answer at lightning speed. As part of efforts put in by my teachers and I and my fellow colleagues, they normally organize classes for us to like, if normally we should go with the curriculum, normal teaching stuff, I believe we've not been able to get to this stage. So like, they want us to like, make us have knowledge of other topics that we could like, in Qatar here. That this competition actually improved my students. Before now, I think um, someone like Victor has some deficiency in English language. And with this competition, I think he's already there. I'm very happy to represent my state. This, this is something that I've been dreaming of for a long time because I've seen many of my schoolmates going for it and they've not done very well. And I'm very happy that. I'm able to represent my school so well. Before we came here, myself and my colleague, the other teacher, Mr. Paul, we have to stay within the school premises, spend the night from 7 in the evening, we're taking them to 20 at night. Before we got here, we're residing within the school premises. That tells you the extent to which we are prepared for this competition. I'm so happy. My entire school is happy. My students are happy. Both the entire staffs are also happy. We're expecting a fantastic uh, result at the end of the day. The venue was the Unity Hall, Government House, Asaba. Thank you very much and welcome to the 2018 edition of the Zeplat Bell Quiz. We have a couple of very, very outstanding people here. We have His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa, uh, the Governor of Delta State, who is represented here today by a friend of Zeplat, a friend of the House, somebody you all know very well, the Honorable Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Mr. Tiri Ibe. Thank you very much. His Excellency, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, the Executive Governor of Edo State, is represented by Mr. Emmanuel Akbalo. Thank you very much. There are so many other people here. We have members of the Delta State Executive Council. We have a lot of people, students and teachers. You are welcome for today's event. Now, having come to that, I'd like to hand over the microphone immediately to Dr. Mrs. Chairman Wanchuku, the General Manager of Canada. 
For this program today, Set Up Healthy is one of the CSR programs we run. And what exactly do we intend to achieve with this program? As you know, the plea is in the competition. But what we have done is to make sure that this competition is a healthy competition and a competition that children will look forward to. Children, is that true? Yes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, education is obviously an effective weapon and a very potent instrument for the social, political, economic, and technological development of any society. This explains why governments all over the world invest massively in the provision of education for their citizens. On this note, it is my honor and pleasure to formally declare the 2018 Center now to please sign up. And then, the competition began. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put us together for Mabu Hill and you. Questions were drawn from the sciences plus English language, leaving out religious subjects and other languages. Contesting for third place were Marble Hill Secondary School Asaba and University Preparatory Secondary School UPSS. Benin City, past winners of the sixth edition of the Pearl Squares. Please call us a round of applause for you. Question number five. Question number five. Question number five. From the start, a winning pattern emerged for UPSS, represented by Idahan Justice, Abusonwa Osagi, and Chumo Melani. Oxins are produced in the A, petrol of leaves, B, Neurenchima of roots and shoots. Option C, epidemics of roots and shoots. And option D, apical regions of roots and shoots. D. Correct, a round of applause for you, Princess. Now we the question of the team. And that is the final question, Mabu Hill, biology. Which structure in the maize grain stores food? A, radical, B, embryo, C, cytoplasm, and D, D is incorrect as the way that just Marble Hill. Marble Hill, stand up. You scored 52. A round of applause for them, please. UBSS. Stand up. We scored 62. Alright. Now to pass the good sportsmanship. They are going down, they are going down. Thank you very much. So we already have our top place winner. Presentation National School Benin City. First time finalists represented by Penelope Izakba. Choma Osumbo and Anumba Chimde fought for first prize against Sophia Obaha, Victor Okpaka and Isaac Agbonle representing Lawrence Prentice Academy Asaba, debutants at the Pearl Squares. Question number 28. Question number 28 is English language. Choose a word that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word. A dogged student is likely to succeed. Dogged is the underlined word A. Studious B. Clever C. Curious and D. Determined D. Determined is the correct answer. A round of applause presentation. Lawrence, your question. Number 22. Question number 22. 22 is mathematics. Find the derivative of open a bracket 2 plus 3x close the bracket another bracket 1 minus x with respect to X. Now your options are A minus 3, option B 6, 
Option C, 6x minus 1. Option D, 1 minus 6x. B is the wrong answer. D. You're right. A round of applause for presentation. The question. 23. Question 23, mathematics. The length L, the length L of a simple pendulum varies directly as the square of its period T. If a pendulum with period 4 second is 64 centimeters long, find the length of a pendulum whose period is 9 seconds. Now your options are A, 96 centimeters. Option B, 36 centimeters. Option C, 324 centimeters. And option D, 144 centimeters. C. C is the correct answer. A round of applause for presentation. Lawrence Prentice, is your question. Number 6. Question number six. Lawrence Prentice, six, mathematics. D. That's the correct answer. A round of applause for Lawrence Prentice. Can you change your question? Question 13. Question 13. C. That's the wrong answer. D. That's the correct answer. A round of applause for Lawrence Prentice. Your question. Number 17. Question number 17. C. That is the correct answer. A round of applause for presentation. Your question. Number 25. Question number 25. B. B is the wrong answer. B. That's the correct answer. A round of applause presentation. Your question. Question one. Question number one. A. That is the correct answer. A round of applause presentation. Your question, Lawrence Prentice. Number four. Question number four. B. You are wrong. D. That is the correct answer. Final question for this round and for 2018 Pell Squeeze competition is English language. Fill in the gap. The university project dash owing to lack of funds. A fell down, B fell over, C fell off, and D fell through. Fell through is the correct answer. A round of applause for Lawrence Prentice. All right. Presentation, the giant killers. Stand up. Lawrence Prentice, stand up. Lawrence Prentice scored 48 points. A round of applause for them. They got so many bonus points, they scored uh, about six or seven. Presentation got only two bonus points. But it's got 51 points! For the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up. For the champions, for the champions, stand up. For the champions, for the champions, stand up. It was indeed a rewarding time for the students and their teachers. I'm very, very, very happy. I can't even express how happy I am right now. At first, it looked like we weren't going to make it. We still had that high hope. We still had trust in God that we got all things that are possible. And I want to say a very, very big thank you to Seplad because today we won 100,000 naira each for each school, for each student, and 7 million naira for the school. 
So that's a lot of money. That's a weapon sum of money. So I want to say a very, very, very big thank you, Stefan. Thank you very much. I feel wonderful. The big honor to be, uh, to be the top, uh, top owner of this competition. Getting there was not easy. I needed to dedicate my time to study hard, be the best, and I'm here today. We're so proud to have won this prize. We're so, so proud. However, we worked so hard. God is on our side. Just like the organizer has made arrangement. Fiscal cash is not giving, it's project money. So the principal of our school has actually called in and said they will use it to furnish our IT, ICT center in terms of computers, computer accessories, office accessories, and everything we need in the ICT center. The competition is so good and interesting and interesting one. And from the prize we won, and uh, going to utilize it judiciously and to build up the academic activities of the students and to make sure that uh, they, from this competition, they learn more and um, also build on it for greater tomorrow and win more laurels. I think the objective is to give back and assist in improving our education space. That is what CEPLAT is doing. Modalities for the selection of participating schools have been quite rigorous to ensure appropriate rewards for excellence. The program is built around the syllabus. So what the program has done is to ensure that for all the subjects that we cover, the students are well prepared for the examination. The annual Pearl Squeeze aims at stimulating learning and academic excellence among secondary school students and rewards outstanding academic performance. Just like every other competitive uh, game or event in the world, you start off with a lot of schools. So they started in two states at Noah and Delta State, about over 854 schools or so. And as time goes on, they kept working it through, through an elimination. And today you then see the best top four schools coming to the final, the very final round of, of the event here in uh, uh, Asaba, Delta State. For this program, we open it up to all schools in Delta and the two states. And for this year, 854 schools showed interest. And once we have the interest uh, indicated by these schools, we run a qualifying test. And based on the qualifying test, we shortlist schools. And to shortlist until we get to the last two schools who will stand for the first and second positions, they run through series of pace. In the last six months, this process has been on. And by today, we had our last two schools standing. And that was what you witnessed today for the first and second position. And the other last two of well, the third and fourth schools standing for the third position. We set out to make sure that we enhance academic excellence in the state. And by the number of schools that take part in it alone, that shows you how much interest and impactful it has, uh, uh, you know, benefited. Many students have benefited from it. We have had over 24,000 students go through this program. We have had an average of a thousand schools each year go through this program. And this program has been on for seven years. Preparing excellent and responsible future leaders, no doubt, is a task that must be accomplished and it is therefore worthy of commendation.